Just as using best practices to name your files can save you both time and frustration, so too can applying these good practices to naming and organizing your digital folders. In this video, you will learn why systematically naming and organizing your folders is so important. After watching the video, you will be able to list at least one reason for creating meaningful folder structures. You will also be able to apply best naming practices to folders on your computer. First, why would you want to create and maintain consistent, systematically named folder structures? Well, have you ever tried to find a specific document or photo that you know exists on your computer, but are unable to locate it? Organizing your folder structures and maintaining that organization through your projects will help your group files together when you have too many to keep in one location, such as on your desktop or in My Documents. In general, a project that requires more than three files needs some folder structure to help you keep it organized. Imposing some structure on your folders helps your computer help you. Using proper folder structure techniques allows you to focus on your work rather than on finding files you need for your work. Imagine you are putting together a calendar that will be filled with pictures of a friend's or colleague's dogs. You know you have all the files, but they are stored across multiple, unrelated folders and the folder names don't give you a clear idea of what's inside. Working on this project is going to be very frustrating without some organization. To start organizing the pictures for this project, you can create a new folder and name it using best practices. For example, 2016 calendar tells you what project the folder contains, has a short name that is easy to read, contains no spaces or special characters, and will easily sort by year when you create a new folder for next year's calendar project. As you find the pictures you want to use in the calendar, copy or move them to your project folder. It's possible to keep the pictures organized by naming them using best practices, but as you accumulate more pictures and edit them, it will become difficult to quickly find the picture you want. Instead, you can create a folder for each month of the calendar and move the picture or pictures for that month into that folder. Now you can enjoy working on the calendar without having to worry about finding all the pictures. This is one way that systematically creating and naming folders can help your computer help you. No one can remember where everything on their computer is stored. A systematic folder structure helps give your brain a break. Make sure to choose a system that makes sense for you and your work. It is important to use the same system for a project, though you can implement different systems for different projects as needed. While it may be difficult at first, once you regularly name and organize your folders, the practice becomes second nature. Remember, using best data management practices saves you both time and frustration in the long run.